Hey guys, my name is Arihant and uh, this is the first video on the channel that I started um, which I was inspired by uh, which I was inspired to start because of a lot of people who learn in public and I did this uh, blog post by Sean who works uh, with AWS and, uh, and and I was inspired by how fast he has been able to learn and grow in the career and I thought that I had hit a bump not learning at the pace that I wanted to so in spite of that I thought that I would uh, start this and learn the things that I want to but I'm too lazy to and have fun along the way and uh, include the people who would stumble upon this video uh, and hopefully as we grow on this channel uh, more people um, and learn together sounds fun so uh in in this playlist in this uh playlist that starts with this video it's uh, this video is is going to be a walkthrough about what this playlist is going to be about i without further ado i i would just walk you through so this is going to be apart from this video uh three or four uh more video playlist in the first video, we are going to walk through an article written by Dan Abramov uh, from the React team uh, with Facebook uh, about memoization, what memoization is in JavaScript on on his uh, website uh, called whatthefork.is. And then we are going to jump onto this very handy, very sweet uh, library called Memoize One made by Alex Riordan who works with Atlassian and um, so I stumbled upon this uh, library and I started reading the readme and I was surprised at how um, elaboratively the readme was written and uh, because it was so lucrative to just keep understanding what is happening I kept reading, uh, kept reading the readme and I understood what the library was doing so in the next video we're going to next video uh next to next video yeah in the next video we're going to uh like walk through this article and in the next to that video we are going to just understand uh this uh, what this library is for by walking through its readme file and uh, in the next video to that we are going to dive into the code and understand what it is doing and uh, since it is written in typescript we are going to understand the types as well and in the next video uh, we are going to uh, understand all the tests that are written for it uh, and uh, i was surprised like uh, the, the one of the things that uh, lured me into uh, making a video about this uh, utility was that it is so heavily tested and we would understand all the tests and all the benchmarks that are be, have been done uh, for this library, which is like which was surprising for me because um, like I am not very well aware with I haven't tested. Let me be very honest. I haven't tested a whole lot of code that I've written in, in a short career that I've had until now. So I was surprised that such a small utility would need. Uh, so many of tests and benchmarking to be able to be uh, a rock solid uh, recommendation for the purpose that it is built for. So, uh, I'll see you in the next video.